Mini Mini to me is is bonding with the child. Well, Mini Mini to me, I think, is a it's a form of um, hands-on healing. It's a um, a way that we can, um, from human to human, um, give some um, some calming, some um, some good feelings. Um, Mini Mini is something that I like to do or get done, have a massage as often as I can, but it doesn't happen that often. Um, but uh, when my children were young, I used to massage them after a bath once or twice a day, and it was really good at helping to get them to sleep and relax and they go to you know, hopefully sleep all night and all that kind of thing. And it was a way of transferring aroha or all sorts of good feelings um, to them about, uh, you know, I'm your mother, it's okay, I'm here for you don't worry, go to sleep now, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I think it's something that my mother did with me and my auntie did with all her children. She's got nine of them. And uh, I think the connection, you get a, I don't know, a different level of connection with your children when you do that because you're, it's skin to skin and it's heart to heart, if you like, and yeah, it's something that I hope my children continue with their children when they have them. A lot of times when the children are um, uptight or hurting, uh, midi midi is a good way of, of relaxing them and taking some of the hurt or the, or the mama out of the children. When I relate it to children, I think that it's a way to bring a closeness to your baby to start with. What you're doing is you're, um, you're bringing the, your hands, you're using your hands and touch as a way to show your baby that you love them. I think that it's a, it's a wonderful way to um, bring time together, because you can't actually do the dishes and do midi midi at the same time, you know. It's your undivided attention that you're giving your baby. And for us in, in busy homes with lots of children, sometimes it is difficult to give 100% attention, whereas midi midi is something that you can, you can do. Um, you, you require your full attention. Oh, we've got many Huano members who are sort of active participants in, you know, Miri Miri and Rungua. Um, and, um, and I've seen no, no babies that have, um, you know, they just absolutely love Miri Miri, you know. And, um, yeah, so I think it's really important. And I think, you know, there's horses for courses and for some people Miri Miri is, is the most soothing thing that, you know, that could take place in terms of that type of healing that they're seeking at that particular time. And it makes it easier for them to accept that type of therapy I suppose um, when they're getting older I know I'm open to all of that be maybe because of um, how I was treated when I was young um, there's definitely some healing qualities in there and especially when it's uh, between mother and child or father and child or siblings or even the other way around like say grandchild and grand to grandmother yeah I mean, with Midi Midi, it's something that you, um, it depends really on the situation. It's something, you don't have to pack your bag. Um, if you're going with your child somewhere, you don't have to pack your bag uh, of Midi Midi, you know. Here they are here, you've got the tools here. It didn't have to be close off, oil down Midi Midi. It could be just a simple, you know, a soothing um, action. In, Again, they, they respond to it, they know, particularly when they're sick too, that's the time, and, and hence the, the sense that it's a rungoa, you know, that midi midi is a healing, that they'll often want to be midi, um, have midi midi when they're not 100%. So that's probably where I've used it um, most often. No, no, I don't think it's easy to midi midi a baby or a small child. I think you have to be very careful um, 
how, what you're doing and how you do it. Uh, our, yeah, we're just a lot stronger than, than the, the person that we, we would be midi midiing. Um, so we just got to be very careful not to hurt the child, uh, but just to relax the child. There are, I guess, some safety issues around um, doing midi midi with very young children. Similar to when you're bathing them, they can get quite slippery, and then when they get older and more wriggly, you know, they can fall off things. But so the floor is a good place to sort of start, and then you're already there, and just as long as it's warm. When we were brought up, midi midi wasn't really a big part of our life, you know. Um, but I mean, I've, you know, more more, more recently, I think that it has come back as um, as a more, you know, uh, in more recent times that our people have started to rekindle, um, you know, what was potentially becoming a lost start, you know, the art of um, being able to um, to massage and, and soothe, um, you know, through the art of midi midi. When I did midi midi on my children, I worked, did their arms, faces. He'd scalp sometimes, especially now the older one. She plays tennis, you see, and she gets a lot of stress up in her head. So I rub her head and she says, Mum, can you rub my head? Um, and oh, arms, yeah, I said arms and fingers sometimes, legs, puku a lot, you know, so they might have wind or something. My children have um, had midi midi done on them when they've been unwell by a, a, a queer of ours. And um, yeah, both of them have, you know, just absolutely responded to it awesomely, yeah. So. Only time I done it when they had bath, and you midi midi them when they get out of the bathtub, and you rub, you rub the, them down with olive oil. olive oil. That's what I used to rub my children down after a bath with olive oil, and they let they let that up, because they could feel, you know, nice rubbing of my hands on them, touching them.